Hello friends, it's drizzling again and drops falling on the leaves make big noise. I hope it won't disturb the audio here. Uh, in this video I would like to tell you something more about the grafting cactus. This uh, is a grafted cactus and and uh, where do I have it and this here is the same age cactus same species same age but look how little it is in compared to the grafted the advantage of grafting cactus is that it doesn't really want to die so easily and it wants to grow so much faster as a matter of fact the energy it gets from this rootstock makes it grow the babies that are bigger <laughs> than this non-grafted sibling of this cactus and those babies can be cut off and rooted or grafted again and how to graft properly. Recently I put a video, a, a kind of demonstration explanation on YouTube uh, made by grafting cactus person extraordinaire. It's, uh, it's right here. I'll, I'll put a link on the bottom of a video. Uh, it's in Czech language but with uh, English subtitles. The, gra uh, the cactus grower and grafter and all that extraordinaire author of these three fantastic books has a name Roman Pavlica and uh, And he likes to graft his cactus so low that you almost don't see the rootstock. But uh, there is an advantage of grafting it on a higher rootstock first because the plant is older, stronger, has more roots. But how do you shorten then the rootstock so it will become a short rootstock? Uh, I have here some cactus that's in English name has a name blue cactus that's one of those many cactuses recommended many many species and cultivars recommended um, for grafting for the bottom called rootstock and if I were to cut the way he recommends on the very top and graft a cactus how then I make the rootstock instead of this tall this tall so it can be the way he is doing it planted in leopard and put the decorative stones around so it's pretty much invisible how do you do that well the way he does it seems like, wow, very easy, let me show you. I'm going back and forth. He cuts the rootstock to a proper length. This is after it's successfully grafted, I'm talking about. And just leave it like that in a pot with no growing medium. And in a month or two, or three, do you see the little circle there? Roots start to grow. Some more quickly and some less quickly. Let me see. Oh, here, here you can see it pretty, pretty good. You see those little dots? Those are the roots. This one 
has actually a quite a big one, big root sticking out. Do you see it? And another on the other side. You see it? Okay. And then he plants it. So even though he often grafts it on a quite tall rootstock, this is the easy way to shorten it. And sounds unbelievable, but hey, the proof is in a pudding. I mean, the, in this case, the proof is in the rootstock, which was cut about a month ago about a month and a half ago and uh, almost a month and a half ago and in another two months or so it'll be full of roots that he would plant or he will plant it but in a very drainy rocky kind of mixture and basically don't water it for a long time or water it super duper little and I would also put under the title in what use YouTube calls description but it can be called subtitle a link to the website of this cactus grower hybridizer grafter and everything extraordinaire in Czech Republic or you can find him on a Facebook again under star space astrophytum and send him a message yeah or rather you know what I'll show it to you right now right here that's what you type star astrophytum dot com and you would see all his seeds that he's offering different types by mail and plants and books Ta-da! bye-bye Oh, by the way, if you're wondering what kind of cactus these are, these very decorative cactus, it's from a group of species that don't really have a thorns. It's called Astrophytum, that have no thorns. Oh, yeah. Goodbye.